All right, guys, <clears throat> it is Roger from Tree Life Tree Service 584 Tree, and we have a new purchase today, and we have the new barn chain that goes along with it. I uh, went to Zach's Outdoor Power and picked up another pole saw. This is one of the main um, <clears throat> saws that I use every single day when I go out to work. Um, this saw here is probably used the second most of every saw. Um, sometimes I use it more than, than my top handle. This is the first saw that I grab <clears throat> when I'm going up in the bucket. So usually I'll have this saw and I'll have a steel top handle. 193, 194T or the new 201 TC which uh, replaced the 200. I, I used to exclusively use the 200T and then they made some changes. Uh, I burn up about five or six, seven saws. Um, and then I basically started using the 193 and 194T. Um, and just yesterday I purchased, finally, the 201TC. But anyway, back to the main uh, main thing here. This is the uh, one of the main saws we use, or I use, exclusively. And I'm trying to get angle on there for you. So this is the uh, 132 HT132 steel. Um, I try to get the biggest motor I can, if possible. Uh, just it helps. It helps getting the biggest motor if you can. And this thing right here comes with this little strap. That's the first thing I throw away. <laughs> I do not need this strap. It's more, I don't know if that they use that for weed eating or what. You usually see those on weed eaters. Um, if you guys use that strap, let me know because I've never used one in 20 years, 25 years. The only thing I do to this saw that's not stock is I change the blade out immediately because look at this little baby tiny chain this has <laughs> so the problem is I'm gonna have to change out the sprocket so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this until it's basically wore out and then I'm gonna change the uh, sprocket over I didn't even know they still have these tiny little bars and chain this is crazy but I change it out with um with this bar here and what size is this um can't even see oh that's a 14 so now they're putting this mini tiny micro micro uh micro uh mini on that <clears throat> it would be okay if it was 16 inches but it's not so you're missing two inches and you'd be surprised when you're removing a tree how much that makes a huge difference and why do they not make a 16 inch bar and chain if you had a 16 inch bar and chain with this micro mini um, uh, chain it would eat through it would eat a lot faster than the bigger big and bar, bigger bar and chain <laughs> getting sleepy um but they used to have this this same size bar and chain on it it was just a 14 and i would just upgrade um with this 16 inch bar and chain it is uh 33 8 pitch um 0.43 uh 1.1 millimeter uh 40 centimeter 16 inch 530 532 uh, uh um chain so you can get that in any dealer but like I said you're gonna have to upgrade the sprocket they hopefully they didn't mess it up they always screw up everything <laughs> I don't know why they keep changing stuff but um, this bar and sprocket are not upgradable um, you cannot put this bar and chain on this one without changing out the sprocket so it looks like I'm going to have to use this for a little bit until it wears out because I don't have anything that uses this bar and chain. I've only, I've only, I had one uh, saw and I switched it out immediately. 
Um, because what you're going to do is if you have this bar and chain, then you're going to have to carry this bar and chain as a spare. So you're going to have basically more bars and chains than you need. If you're going to change something out, you need to have everything the same. Um, you, you can't have, if you, the more bars and chains you have, the more trips you're going to have to take to the saw shop. And then that's going to eliminate being able to swap your bar and chains with your other saws because this other saw has a different bar and chain my top handle has a different bar and chain that's why all i switch them all to the same one so no matter what you have if you're up in the uh tree and your bar and chain falls off or it bends or breaks or tears or rips or cannot be used anymore kinks you can say hey go to the truck and grab the bar and chain off that pole saw or grab the bar and chain off that top handle or you know basically you can um, swap back and forth but <clears throat> for some reason steel keeps changing things up so anyway this is a good saw I'm gonna use it as is um, tomorrow we got a big uh, takedown to do a dead big dead tree um, so this is this my top handle are pretty much what I take down and start to take down almost every tree. I trim every tree with. The only time I ever switch to a bigger saw um, is if we're doing a removal and I, I need the last um, couple cuts on the bottom of the tree. So we usually do uh, smaller trees. We don't do the humongous trees anymore. Um, every once in a while I'll do it for a friend or a special occasion like if if I have a, a customer that I've been working with for years and they can't find anybody else to do the big trees we'll still go out and do them we have the equipment to do them but I prefer to do the smaller trees that um, I can basically do with the pole saw top handle saw and then switch off um, and maybe do like three or four cuts with a big uh, bigger saw so anyway either way these are awesome saws to have if you have this thing in a top handle and a bucket truck you can do 90% of the work so Anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And as soon as I change this out and go to the saw shop, I will let you know. God bless.